Welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have finally returned after three or four weeks unseen something I don't know what the hell I'm saying three or four weeks have passed since the last episode of thinking outside the box and by god Brad that's a little bit too long for me so I decided to bring that shit back today with an epic clash guys we got some fix up slash build of material that we're gonna make here today if you don't know what thinking outside the box is it is where I take my loose box of loose WWE elite figures that are all broken down you can see here missing parts basically this is my box full of missing elite parts they're they're freaking they look like sid's toys from toy story out here and what we do is we take one of these say i want to fix up this miz we take this miz and then we go into my fodder boxes which have all of my wwe action figure parts so all these little things over here i have like three or four of them maybe five who the hell knows i take those and i put the parts together with the figures and we create a brand new figure or we try to you know refresh a figure bring a figure back to life put him on the shelf or do something with him and that's what we're going to do here today guys I actually have some pretty sweet nasty farticle ideas that I'm pretty excited about and the first one has to do with this figure right here it is this Kurt Angle that is going to be our first order of business we're going to try to restore this Kurt Angle I think I do have some Kurt Angle fodder in the box I don't know exactly what I think I have the Elite 66 lower legs in there maybe the knee pads or something and I'm sure I have a Kurt Angle head sculpt in there somewhere so I think this is the first figure we're going to use um, I'm looking to do two or three projects today so there is our first one we got the Kurt Angle figure the next figure that I think I want to do is I think that back figure back there I think it's the is it the Brian Pillman elite is this the legends Brian Pillman um, this figure right here is gonna be epic guys I have an idea and I'm not gonna spoil it right now you guys will see it maybe in the next section of the video but uh, it, lo it looks like a pretty good base for a character that I want to make here today and uh, maybe it'll give you guys some inspiration to make your own of that character but we'll have to see about that that is our second figure we're gonna do is this Brian Pillman elite and our last bit of business guys I'm gonna take my time here. I want to, you know, figure out exactly what I want to do here. There's so many different figures and parts in here that we can use, and I'm trying to figure out exactly what the hell I want to do. There's so many ideas. I mean, like, thinking outside the box, you can see, is going to last us a while, because uh, we have so many figures here that we could possibly use in the future, and then you guys know that we tear down other figures and put those figures in here, and then, you know, it basically, it, it loses some, and then we put some back in there and rebuild it back up, so it's probably going to be a while till we get this box empty, if we ever get this box empty, but I I think the figure I want to use is going to be this Ric Flair Hall of Fame 4-pack Target Exclusive Elite Body. You know, we have free roam on the head skull, we have free roam on the arms, and we have free roam on the legs that will be ball joints, so we can't just use any regular legs. But I think this will be a good little piece right here. So that is our three projects. We're going to make this into a full random creator wrestler. We're going to use the Brian Pillman for a special wrestler that I'll show you guys. And then we're going to rebuild Kurt Angle. So we have three completely different projects. Should be pretty fun. But now that we've gotten what we want to do, let's dive into the fodder boxes and find some pieces to put together our WWE Elite Action Figures. So our first order of business, guys, is going to be to find the pieces for this Kurt Angle body right here. So for the Kurt Angle body, I can already see it right here in the front. We're going to use the Elite 66 legs, and we're going to do our best to try and put this on here and see if it will work. I want to say, didn't we try this before and it, like, epically failed? But that looks like it's matching up, so I don't know how that happened. How did we fail that one time? Or maybe we just misjudged something. Or maybe I'm just mistaken. I don't know. But that looks like that's going to work right there. I think this is the other foot. Is this the other foot? Yeah, I think this is the other foot. So this is what I'm thinking right here. You plug these shoes on there, and then you have like a, a hybrid, like, team angle, Kurt Angle, but he's wearing wrestling shoes instead. I think this will be a sick fix-up. We also need knee pads and a head sculpt for this guy, and I know this is in here, so... We got Kurt Angle's lower legs. Next up on the list, we got to find the head sculpt, and there we go. This is the head sculpt I want to use. This is the SummerSlam Basic, I think, with the 5 o'clock shadow kind of on there. Hopefully this goes on, and it's not, you know, freaking, freaking whatever the hell it's called, freaking wobble, bobble head on there. Hopefully that'll work out perfectly. And now we just need knee pads, and the knee pads box is on the floor, so I got to reach my ass down here, grab it, put it on the thing here, go ahead. Uh. <clears throat> vomiting. Uh, we got to find these knee pads here, which are perfectly right there. Some Kurt Angle Elite 66 knee pads with the stars and stripes. These are probably the best option. I don't think there's any other ones. I don't want to put large knee pads on there. I want them to be able to articulate, so I think that will be our best bet for knee pads. Now I got to move the John Brown box. I'm knocking lamps over and shit. 
All right, so we got our knee pads. Kurt Angle is complete. Now, guys, we're going to move on to the second portion of the video, and it's going to be the Brian Pillman Legend body right here. And I don't know if you guys can already tell what I'm eyeing, but if you guys can see straight right there, right, 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 booyah, right here, baby. We're going to attempt to make an elite Chris Benoit out of this Brian Pillman, and all we need, really, I mean, this torso isn't perfect for Benoit. I would really recommend using the Stone Cold torso, but you know what, Brad? We're going to attempt to use this. We're going to put this head sculpt on here, and all we need is arms, So, because these tights, I mean, they pretty much look like Benoit tights for the most part, and I know they don't have the slashes, but they, I mean, come on. It looks like a B right here, if you guys can see that. It looks like a be. And so that could totally work. You know, obviously it's not perfect, but if you want, you could easily acetone that off, get some decals and throw that on there. I may do that. Who knows in a future action figure surgery, but right there, that is the head sculpt we're going to pop on there. We're going to have a Benoit Elite, man, and it'll be one that will actually be posing around instead of my custom. So all we really need are some arms, and right there, I can already freaking see arms, but I want to make sure that I get the right ones. Right here, guys, I think these arms will probably be the best um, I think that would probably be the best case scenario. I know some people have used these arms before, but Benoit's arms were pretty damn jacked. Um, and I don't want to use paint, and these work perfectly because you guys can see they have the black wrist tape on there. So I think that would work for a perfect formula for Benoit. At least, you know, throwing it together, you know, for the sake of the Thinking Outside the Box series, I think that would work the best. So we are going to use these arms together with our Jack's Chris Benoit head. Guys, I'm, I'm really excited about this. We, we're about to build Chris Benoit here on Thinking Outside the Box. So there we go with that. We got the arms, we got this, we got that. Now we're working on our other guy, which is going to be a complete creator wrestler. This isn't a legend, this isn't a Hall of Famer, this isn't Kurt Angle, this isn't Jack Shit. This is a random guy. Now for the random guy skin tone, um, let's see, we're going to have to find a head sculpt through here. And I'm really not seeing a head sculpt that I like. A Bret Hart, I don't really, I'm not really feeling that, I don't know. Plus that thing has some chipping. Oh shit, what do we got right here, Brad? Oh snap, using the Tatanka head sculpt right here? I actually think I have a little idea. I think that would be badass. The skin tone match is pretty good. It's got a smaller head. I mean, the torso is a little bit small for the head. Like, the head kind of looks a little bit big, but I think once we put it together, we plop that on there. We get some arms. I feel like we need to put this head sculpt on there. He's got an RF on his tights, so maybe his name can be Red something. I don't know if it Red Flair. I guess you could call him that if you wanted to, but I don't know. We, we You guys always do pretty well coming up with a name in the comments, so... Um, I don't know. We got to build him up first, then we'll come up with a name. But there, I think this head sculpt will look great because he's, you know, he's he's got the red going down the middle. He could be called Red something. We got to get him some good arms though. The arms are a big part, and we also have to find this man legs. And I want to say like these are going to look stupid. I don't want to put these on there. The Bray White legs will look dumb. Really don't want to do that. But these, oh snap! We got freaking HBK legs. Now these will make some noise right there. You put the kick pad legs on there. I think that would be badass. So we're going to stick these HBK legs onto this Ric Flair body with that Tatanka head sculpt. And then uh, now we just need arms for this guy. And for the arms, I got to go over here and find some arms that look okay. Um, let me go ahead and jack this shit up. I really do not know what arms I want to use. I got to get in here because I actually have an idea that would look badass. What if we used like... Uh, Dead gum. I kind of want to use like I don't know if you guys know who John Trademark is. Is that was was that his name, the pick fetting guy? I kind of want to do the thing where you know you use CM Punk upper arms or lower arms where it looks like he has some tattoos but he doesn't have full sleeves. Uh, how cool would that be to do with like Randy Orton or somebody like that and give this guy like or Bray Wyatt or somebody like that and then combine them to make it look like he has two different sleeves of tattoos? That would be badassery. Ah, I really don't know how we're gonna do it though. I gotta figure out how the hell I'm supposed to do that and. I don't know. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to take a second to look through here and look, and I'll let you guys know in here in a second. All right, guys, so I found the arms I'm going to use. I'm going to use these lower arms that I found in the fodder box from the HBK that we did, I think, last time. And you got to see that the arms clearly match the tights. So there you go. And then all we have to do is switch out the lower arms from this Randy Orton. That way he'll have, like, pretty much bicep tats. I hate that, you know, this doesn't have any tattoos on the shoulders. Um, I guess I could free roam that one day or something or just do something cool with it. But, uh... We've got all the parts now, guys. All we have to do is put everything together on the surgery portion. So I'll meet you guys in the backstage area for this episode of Thinking Outside the Box, episode number five. All right, guys, it is time for our surgery portion of the video. Now, it should be relatively easy. I feel like everything should go 
as planned. You know, not everything will go as planned, you know, because that's just how things work sometimes. I do know that we do need some lower leg pegs to go with our Kurt Angle, so I'm currently looking through my lower leg peg baggie right now to see if I can find some. There's one right there, and there is the other one. Hopefully these work out. You know, uh, the skin tone may be a little bit off. Who the hell cares? All right, guys, so what we're going to do is, first of all, I am going to go ahead and shove these pegs through this hole if I can. Sometimes it's a little stiffy, Brad, and it will not go, and then you got to sit there, and you got to freaking heat it up, and then stick it through, and then heat it up again, and that's not the case. It looks like this is going to go on there, so that is actually a success. We're off and running to the races already in this episode of Thinking Outside the Box, so that is really what you love to see. You love to see that, and now this one's trying to be a whore and trying to take back everything I just freaking said. All right, guys, so we got that. The pegs are through. Now, what we have to do is we do have the trusty white hair dryer. Um, we can get all of this stuff out of the way, like our bases, because our bases are not needed, so we're going to heat up all this shit at once besides the knee pads. You don't want to do that because... Yeah, you, you just don't want to do that. We do need to go ahead and put these knee pads on here. So which one's the left, which one's the right. So this is the left one, should go on there relatively easy. And then the right one, go ahead and stick this on there. And now all we have to do is heat up everything. So we're gonna try and get this gauntlet correct. And uh, the biggest thing that I think will be the issue is probably the arms because those arms are probably gonna be up. So uh, we need to set this up strategically. So the holes of the legs will be there. You also got to get the holes of the head sculpts, make sure they're getting heated, but you also have to get these heated. Oh, man. Gonna do my best here. Trying to put all this stuff in the, you know, the freaking fire flames there so that you can get everything all at once because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to do multiple freaking heat ups. Brad, that's not how we do it. We try to get it all in once. We try to get it all in one stretch, all in a single marathon because uh, that's what makes it sweet, nasty particles. If we can do it all three together and uh, we're gonna do our best. We're gonna give it an attempt and and it may not work, you know, we may not complete it. It may be an epic fail. It's looking like it's gonna be a damn failure, but uh, we won't know till we hit it, so we're gonna push this all together. Hopefully the white hair dryer doesn't freaking blow the shit a mile away, um, but I'm expecting it to, you know, I'm expecting it to, so uh, I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it, see what the hell's up, and go ahead and hit it. I didn't trust that, so now I do. Son of a bitch, I freaking knew it. Okay, plan number two, just like this. This here, this here, this here, this here, 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 here. Damn, here. Christ on a bike, Brad. All right, guys, we're going for the freaking home run right here. We heated that up for an ass amount of time. So we're going to go ahead and pop this one Benoit arm on. I'm really not dealing with the, or I'm not really liking the length of these arms, to be honest with you. But, uh, oh my God, in heaven, that was so damn hot, I almost farted. So putting the Benoit head sculpt on, and we'll take a look at that at the end. Uh, again, I'm not big on those head, or on the, uh, the length of those arms. I would much rather than be a little bit uh, smaller or a little bit, or I don't know, it's just like the length or something. I, I don't know, I guess maybe Cena arms will probably work best. Um, but now we have to do this. This is really important right here. So not only do you have to get this part out, you have to get the peg back from the Randy Orton lower arm and you gotta plug this through and then once you get this through, it's a little bit loosey-goosey, but you still have to get the arm right here from the HBK, and you have to stick that shit on there and do your best not to burn the hell out of yourself. Christ. You know what would probably be easier? Taking the peg completely out, sticking the arm in there like that, and then sliding that through would probably be a lot simpler task. A lot simpler task? Well, I didn't work. Son of a bitch. Well, this is gonna suck anyways going to the other one might as well get that shit on there god dang all right got the lower legs lower arms you stupid jackass now you got to get the other arm on here the right arm see if this will work couldn't get the other one maybe we, this one will go probably not god in heaven why why jesus christ i don't I, it's, 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 it's. god that sucks okay you know what go over to the current angle go ahead and pop this head sculpt on here like so and then put this on here if this will even go brad i'll be shocked as hell if this actually goes now after spending all that other time i uh, went with these well would you look at that wish the arms would do that okay this shit didn't even get heated up but did it matter holy hell wow so the kurt angle the kurt angle worked to perfection we'll, we'll take a look at him at the end here in a 
second. Now this head sculpt should pop straight on here. Okay, we got that. All we need for this guy now is his damn arms, but his arms are being a piece of shit. I'm gonna have to heat those bitches up. <sighs> Alright guys, I'll just see you at the next segment. I'll see you guys at the end where we review everything we've done here today on WWE Thinking Outside the Box or whatever the fuck this, this thing's called. Alright guys, well here's everything we created here today on Thinking Outside the Box episode number 5. You guys can see the Kurt Angle turned out pretty perfect exactly how I thought it would turn out. I think that turned out great. I can't wait to put that back on the Kurt Angle shelf. Get that figure out of the Thinking Outside the Box box. We also have our guy named Red Flare or whatever the hell his name's gonna be called. I don't freaking know. I couldn't get this arm on guys. I tried for like a fucking hour and I'm sick of it, man. My fingers are sore. I F you. F you. Legs feel good, though. They're tight and nice. I bet he would be really fun to pose around. I still think the head sits a little bit too low and it's a little bit too big. Uh, you guys can see how freaking loosey-goosey it is. I'll probably switch that out at a later date. But for now, I really like the red hair, though. So maybe we can switch it out for somebody that still has red hair or something cool or I, I don't know. But I still like the way he looks. Um, I like the tattoos, you know, going on on the upper bicep there. Um, I think one thing that would bring it over the top is if he had Randy Orton's shoulder. Now, I think that would really complete it. And then last but not least, guys, we do have our Crispin Wall Wrestler right there. And he looks pretty good. I think the head scan sits nicely on there. Still not big on these arms. I wish they were uh, shorter. Maybe the Benoit, uh, not the Benoit arms, but the Cena arms, the John Cena arms, like Elite 17. Or, you know, paint some black wrist tape onto those arms or something. Or maybe switch the, I, I don't know. John Cena arms will probably work a little bit better. Even though technically these are John Cena arms. I'm referring to the shorter Elite John Cena arms. So, uh, that is it, guys. We have completed completed everything here today and now it is time to add these mofos up on the shelf or to their respective places in the collection. going to do it for this episode of Thinking Outside the Box, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter on My Damn, and My Damn Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.